Let's go to out of date then, shall we? He is over there. Closest place I have would be Flibberdit. Oh wow, this looks cool. That's a hope hall. Some used to go there every week to join hands and yeah. hope together. Not so much hope to go around these days. These guys evil or oh, yeah. a duel. Ah oh, crap. Wait, I can use my uh my little muckball thing. The mucus bubble, there you go. Wee! <laughs> it's like Katamari, bro. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, this is great. Oh, damn. Wee! Come here, guys. Yeah. 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 Oh, you know what? This actually could be really good to put him into muck. Huh. That could actually work. I wonder if this helps me. Come here, boys. There you are. <laughs> Took care. Hey, nice shot. He's dead. He's dead. There you go. Easy peasy. Alright. Oh, that's rare. That's a train station? What the hell just happened? There it is. The oh. tree of life. The idea that all life is related by common descent where the twigs are existing species, and those produced in the past represent the succession of the extinct. The tree's great branches were once budding twigs, a connection between the past, present, and future, a representation of all extinct and living species with its ever-branching and beautiful ramifications. We are an evolution of those that came before. Fast travel point. Let's see. Out of date. All right. Let's go talk to this poor fellow. It's a place well hidden. It's just below the above. What the hell? Is that a UFO? The below above. Very interesting. That was a Star Wars. Bro. What do you think of this place? What the hell are these? Is that where I was? Yeah, there's two of them. Out of dates impressed you made it this far. But there's still so much left to do. The end of the world is still on everyone's minds. Mpa, wherefore, where, where? You've beaten a path where you have the power to destroy or save everyone. Question is, what you'll do with that responsibility? 
Mpa, wherefore, where He can sense that your heart beats steadily and acknowledges that the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Thinks it's important that you remember who you are and where you came from. Someone without knowledge of their history and origin is like a tree without roots. My memories are a blur. I need direction roots. What do you think his are? He's the one that's called out of date, remember? Out of date says there's a time for everything. And now there's no use thinking of the past, for it's gone. Think of the present because that's where you are. It's time to set your priorities as the one who completes things. Mm -hmm. If you continue to do good, good will follow you. If the world really does end, there won't be anywhere to run. So he's prepared for the worst, something he calls the Ark. <laughs> Man, you won't be the end. He hopes you're right. He gets that you mean the journey continues either way, but personally, he wants the tree to survive. Could I? He far. Out of date says there's no clear record of the chain of events that changed the course of history and brought the world to its knees. He's found evidence on the Ark. Records of a crisis, decades of contamination that permeated the ground and broke its inner core. Miami. The contamination disrupted what we now know as key energy the life force that runs through all things, living and inanimate. Le, ya, ya, He's been told the blight affected everything at a genetic level and turned our perception of normality on its head. Le, ya, ya, it was only those that changed that avoided extinction, proving that the possibility for survival and renewal was real. He understands you are curious about the ship at the foot of the tree. He says it surfaced when the oil broke through the ground. The Ark predates the back-in days, and now, after years of study of the manuals he found inside, he believes he's figured the ship out. The Ark has room for four more, and he trusts you'll apply wisdom to your what? compassion uh... and choose whom to save if the world comes to end. He'll keep the seats open, and you are free to invite up to four others to join you in the Ark in the event of a cataclysm. Wow. You clear all quests for a character, you can offer them one of the four seats on the Ark. Your allied tribe, Sifu, and out-of-date already have seats, but think hard about who to bring with you before offering someone a seat, as you won't be able to change your mind. Depending on your aura, some characters might decline your invitation. Out-of-date says that from what he's heard, you've been busy. He says he appreciates what you've done so far, but unfortunately he's got urgent news from his friend Noko in the east. Out of date says that even though he's unsure about your intentions, he hopes you'll support Noko. He says he'll point you in the right direction, but finding Noko and making sure she gets what she needs is up to you. Hmm. That doesn't sound good. Out of date was spot on. The hoof puff needs to be stopped. Out of date says that Noko is worried now that the Eastern World Eater is stepping up its activity. He explains that Noko keeps a fabled steed that she has planned to ride out to the World Eater, but needs help to get it prepared. Out of date suggests that you should head east as fast as possible and see what you can do to help. He wonders what's on your mind. Okay. Says you're welcome back. If you feel that the narrator is talking too often while exploring, you could reduce the frequency of the narrator's comments in the settings. No. Good. The note groomer. 
Okay. It's, can't believe there's a spaceship here, bro. You never know how long anything's been buried underground. Oh, crap. It's kind of scary. What else is... Lump! He's a chef. The float boat used to see lots of traffic, but that's dwindled over time. <laughs> Let's see. Is that what this place is called? That's funny. The beach is just beautiful. I can't believe you're actually working on the world. Most would be happy to stuff themselves silly while they wait to see what happens. Have you given up? What do you do? What are you doing about the world's end? Feels powerless to do anything but eat. And even that's trouble. Wonders how you manage to feel like you can make a difference still. And if you're going to try, which way will you try to sway things? You think you can save the world, but the world is so much bigger than you, than all of us. After all, the problems of the Tree of Life are so much bigger than those that live within it. What can anyone really do? Says life is like a meal when there's too much to eat. You decide to eat one thing, and it means you don't have enough room for another. And now, the kitchen is closing. Uh, what do you mean, or what if I'm still hungry? Then maybe you keep the kitchen open. Maybe you can find someplace else. Looks like you decided to start working the kitchen yourself. You could have just sat there and waited for more food, but you wanted to cook. Heard you break bread with the myriad. He still remembers how much they liked the meal he made for them. They have good taste. Now, there is something you can both agree on. Hmm? But who you dine with isn't as important as what you eat, right? Says he has a lump in his tum-tum. That's how it's been since the world turned, but he's convinced you can make the burble go away. You need cukies. You and him both. They are the sweetest little bit of comfort food. His mookies in particular are nom nom. His balanced diet is a cukey in each hand, and his are bite-sized and personal. Nothing ticky-tacky or lumpy about them. Oh, no. <laughs> Can you survive on cukies alone? Your cukey sounds delicious. What caused your tum-tum troubles? Figures it's a lack of a steady cukey supply. Lump says the okay. only thing he can make now are uncookies. No one likes uncookies, but his oven won't heat up without a new spark plug. Gizmo taught him how to unscrew spark plugs from motor drives under the hood of wheel wrecks. Doing that should be even easier for you. As soon as he gets a spark plug, he'll make a special bakey just for you. A QK a day keeps the sadness away. Mm. Spark plug for a QK sounds fair. I can't leave you unable to bake. Thanks you for doing all you can for his tum tum. Okay. Find a spark plug. A cool oven.
Pasta. Might as well just dive in that rain and get wet. How? Hmm. Just line up those blue. nodes and yank it out. Careful it doesn't spark you. You got the plug. You're the one in charge now. Right. Oh, wow. <laughs> I died inside the hood. Can't fast travel from here? All right, let me get out of this. There we go. I think I should be able to fast travel from here. What's that down there? It's a random person. Random person. Lump is heated, oven fired up and all. Should be enough spark to keep it going until the end of the world. Now that the oven is sparking hot, it's time to bake. To be worthy of sweets, you must have tasted bitters, and he can see you've had a fair share. Sadly, his supply of whiffle dust is gone with the wind. That means he can't make bake the special cookies he wanted, disco biscuits. Get him some whiffle dust and he'll make a fresh biscuit for you. The quickest way to get a little dust is from the village where he made his last guest bake. There should be some left in their oven. A short trip gets the appetite going. What's whiffle dust made from? I'll get you the whiffle dust. It's formed from Rocky Ridge Mineral Scrape Off. It's a rare good, only found on what? a higher ground. Why? Lump says there are still things left over. Okay. Understands I'm... completely. Whiffle dust up. Obi Dunk. Been there. Aha! That's why I can interact with that damn oven before. Alright. Makes sense now. Okay. Seems like there's a whole world of adventure out there. Question? Ought to be some whiffle dust nearby. Look for an oven. In the air? Oh. The chimney. I don't want Oh. That's the oven. Now, just crank up the temp gauges and catch the cloud it makes. Let's go back to this dude. Now that the whiffle dust is secured, Lump's ready to yo-yo. 
His disco biscuits are known for their hullabaloo. Hanihokusuta. Lump says he has a load of sweets re ovened for you. Sankibara. Better get them while they're hot. Kukis, mookies, and the odd popper dockerical. He's happy to have something for everyone. Jeez, man, some of these words. <laughs> popper upper dickle. What? Where did you learn to bake? How long will we keep baking? How do you, do you bake so long? Jacinto. Says his Muma Grandiosa taught him the inside outs of the oven. Mm -hmm. Lump wonders where you're taking the Ark, and if you have enough supplies for your trip. You can never have enough. Rico. That's the most reasonable thing he's heard all day. Go, go. Thinks the Ark sounds like fun, but with the world in good shape, what do you do with it? Deliver meals? Car. Feels good about you working so hard to keep this kitchen going. Do so, Wishes he knew who you're taking with you in the Ark. So... What we have here is an opportunity oh, to help no. you next. There's a seat open on the Ark should you want to offer it as a gesture of appreciation. Oh, God. This is... No. One of the four seats on board the Ark, even though seating is limited, they belong on the Ark with you. Oh, damn it. I guess, I mean, he's a chef. Why? You don't need anyone else but yourself and me, of course, but I'm a part of you, so that doesn't count. If you want to go quickly, go alone. If you want to go further, go together. The only one we'd want to get away quickly from here is darkness. But you know you can't go on without me. Even if I'm bad company, I complete you. I think we can finally agree on something. It is better to be alone than in bad company. But best of all, is being good company yourself. Indeed. Says he didn't want to hope you'd pick him, but he's going to cook you so many great meals that you'll never regret it. Lump says he's always happy to help. Disco, disco. I'm done and done. Crap, alright. I think the next person that I want to take on get the rolling pin wait what lump pin handle rolling pin oh damn wow get the disco biscuit that's a keeper 